Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Coding with Praveen. So in this tutorial I am going to show you how to start or begin with the key clock. So we know that the key clock is a third party application which is helping us to uh, do the authentication uh, without making a headache to your application. So using this uh, application you can simply uh, pass the tokens and then uh, enables the or disable the user's uh, login authentications so those things that we can uh, manage so uh, I'm not going in detail I'm just to show you how to uh, do a download of this and then uh, set up locally a key clock application uh, using their uh, standalone uh, option so there are more options they are providing like you can uh, install it in as a docker image or you can have it a standalone application uh, standalone uh, file so first you need to download it so I'll download this standalone server distribution once you download it so I already download it into my computer so you'll be getting a zip file uh, so you need to uh, extract this so I'll extract this to uh, this location so then uh, it will be providing us a, f a, a set of files uh, so in there there's an option that we can uh, run it as a standalone so this is very straightforward you don't need to uh, install anything else you just install it uh, download it and extract this key clock uh, zip file so then you will be able to uh, access it so once it's done so I'll go inside and then there's an option uh, in the bin f uh, bin folder which is coming up with the standalone dot bat file so once you run this then it will start uh, deploying so for this you need to have a, a java uh, installed into your computer so if not uh, you need to do that so that's the only requirement uh, so make sure that you install the Java into your uh, computer and then uh, set the environmental vari uh, variable so if you have any issues you can uh, put it in the comment section so then I can further help you so now it's uh, executing the file and then uh, we will be able to see that the uh, service uh, starting you can see it's actually uh, building the uh, application for us to use in locally All right so now it says started so I should be able to capture this using the local host um, port is 80 80. So once you do that, uh, since the uh, this is the first uh, page and this is the first time we are uh, connecting to the key clock, so then you should have an admin uh, user. So kind of a super user should be uh, set up first. So after that, you can add uh, realms. So it's some kind of a layout or a template that you will be implementing for each and every. Uh, application because you may have multiple applications running uh, on there so you can use a one key clock and then um, create uh, authentication process for each and every application separately but you will be running one uh, key clock so to do all this you first need to have a uh, super user so I'll say uh, this is admin and password will say uh, ABC and one, two, three. ABC. Right, so then I'll create this account. Oh, sorry, I put the AD, so this has to be then AD.
right so it says it's created so I should be able to log in now so if I go there it, that is AD and ABC one two three right the setup is done now so you can uh, locally access uh, the dashboard key clock uh, dashboard uh, where this is the one what, what I told you like you can have a, a new realm added so uh, by default there's a realm that is a master realm so instead of that you can have multiple uh, realms created in here uh, and then you can have multiple users added into the realm using the user section so uh, when you add in users that will be comes on to a one particular realm that you uh, picked from here so there are template designing also uh, so those things we can uh, learn in the next uh, video lessons so i hope uh, you understood how to do the installation part and then uh, set up the environment and uh, get the key clock uh, admin login done okay, so we'll meet on next tutorial uh, about how to uh, manage users and giving privileges so thanks for watching so if you have any doubts put it on the comment section and follow my channel uh, code wrapper coding with Praveen thank you